I started off the night sharing a picture of my hunting territory with my wife while Ben was inside scoring the first kill of the evening, a shirt to help keep warm. And not only was it going to be a cool night, we were going to have a 99% full moon. And Carpe Seuss, Ben and I went hunting up in North Texas. We're in the first hogs of the night just before midnight. And the hogs have already moved away from us once at this point. But the weather is in our favor and I figure as long as we stay far enough away from the hogs, the crunchy dry grass isn't going to be too much of a problem. Despite the fact that it's quite calm and very quiet outside. Here we've moved up. We're doing a lot of conversing over where the hogs are, where possible obstacles are downrange, and some houses that we have off to the left. So Ben's video is up on the right. He's going to be shooting a 6mm Grindel with 90 grain Sierra tipped Game Kings. And he's using a bearing optic Super Yoder with 3 power native magnification. With that, he has audio being recorded by a Rick Joy voice recorder. And now my video is up on the left. I'm shooting an IR Hunter Mark III thermal weapon sight mounted on a Lone Star Armory TX-15 multi-purpose carbine enhanced, which has done a fine job for me. And my ammunition is being provided by Druid Hill Armory and includes Hornady CX-120 grain bullets and then Hornady SST-123 grain bullets for the latter shots. All right, and here we're getting settled on our targets again. Okay, the three, the three big ones on the right, which one is yours? Okay, I'll take one behind it. Yeah. Shoot, ready? Ready? Three, two, one. Left, left, left. No, no, let him go, let him go, let him go. Let him cross until they get to the big trees. They didn't cross far enough. I went ahead and left in this long sequence. Ben and I are talking about the hogs. We've got housing in the distance through the trees, and so we don't want to be shooting Two down on the right. to a certain corner of the pasture towards those houses, so we're waiting for the hogs to clear that area, and they're just not moving they're out of that area. Right, but not where they are. Now, some of y'all are thinking these hogs are pretty dumb, standing out in the open waiting to get shot. I'm guessing these hogs have never been shot at before. They're confused by what's happened. They've heard loud noises. They've heard one of their fellows scream, but they don't know what's going on, and they don't understand guns and gunfire. And so they're still here. At this point, we're just waiting for them to move into a safe direction of fire. Two are closer, but the three are correct. Now these little ones we're looking at, they're just shoats. They're along the lines of 30 to 35 pounds in size. Your big ones was going potty. Maybe they'll go back to the tree. Let's Here, I'm going to get bored and go ahead and turn off my recorder to keep from recording just dead footage. I figured once the hogs start moving, I'll get the recorder going again. Things will be good to go. Just going to blow up Ben's image. At this point, we're both using hand scanners, looking for any other hogs, and Ben's going to spot one off to the right here in just a moment. Now he's panning his rifle around. Let me know when you see it. Where is it relative to the and, and I don't see it, and Ben's going to have to actually show me where this pig is. Oh, okay. Take it. Oh, shit. Here we go. Three. No. Three, two, one. That's a little quick, sorry. Oh, well, you're running left again. So you win. Oh. Uh. 
a little further. Okay. You take that leader, I'll take the follower. Push it off to the right. Okay, we'll shoot. Nice. And while I hit my hog, I forgot to do a countdown, and so Ben didn't shoot. The one is still hanging out in the right. He's going to go left. Uh huh. You just tell me when. The others are yep, circling yep. back. No, it wasn't any good. Okay. You want to track right, and I'll stay on the one on the left. <laughs> this is crazy. And this really is going on, and I can't believe it. There are hogs out in the field for this long of right. amount of time. Oh, did you turn your voice? That we've been yeah. shooting at them. <laughs> I forgot. That's right. And the only thing that's yeah. keeping us from shooting at these hogs is that they're not in a safe direction. But they're still out in the open, and the shoats are now moving in an unsafe direction for them. If they stop. And then I remember to get my recorder on finally. Yep. Hit it. You didn't shoot. No. And the one on the left is moving to the left. Oh, oh, oh. Good. That's the pig I shot earlier. Yep. Safe. Safe. Brass Catcher by Tactical Brass Recovery. Sweet. We were able to recover all the hogs that we shot, including the 190 pound boar that we team shot together, and then four sows, various weights, with a total of 23 fetuses on board, which will not be coming to fruition as a next generation, and then a female shoat coming in at 33 pounds. A couple hours later, Ben and I are going to get these two 160 pound females, complete with six on board and five on board, respectively. For this hunt, Ben has changed rifles. He's shooting his 243 Lone Star Armory build that he made. That's going to have a different bearing optic super yoder on it. This one has a two power native magnification. And things are going to happen pretty fast here, and pick Ben's not going to get his recorder on quite in time. Three, two, one. We started off with two hits, but neither of our hogs went down initially. The ones run to the left, let them go. Safe. Safe. We came away with eight hogs for the night plus 34 fetuses, and I thought it was interesting that all of our females that were of age were with fetuses, and they were all small like the ones that you see here. Finally, there will be no carpe analysis to trauma diaries for this hunt, but it will come back with the next hunt. Carpe sus, my friends.